the new map Slaughterhouse has recently released in Devour, and today I'm going to run through a guide on what you need to do in this map, and some general tips and tricks I've picked up when playing, and other helpful things I've seen online. Before I start, also be sure to check out my two other videos where I go over tips and tricks for Farmhouse and the Asylum. Anyway, on to the Slaughterhouse. In this map, our main enemy is going to be Nathan, and he has somewhat morphed into a pig demon. First I'll be going over the general overview of the map, and what you need to do. This part is generally for newcomers that aren't sure how the map works, so skip ahead to tips if you're already familiar, timestamps are below the like button. When the map starts, you will be in a truck in a drop off bay for the slaughterhouse. From here, to the left, you can see a cage of pigs. Remember this, as we'll need to circle back to this later. For now, we will go through the starting activation phase of the map. You'll make your way down this corridor and see this green glowing light in the distance. You can try and go through the freezer door, but the light will turn red. Remember this wee detail, as this will be handy in later stages of the game. To the right of the freezer door, we travel through these vents, and then we can scare these pigs away from this corpse. Follow these pigs to a dark looking room with a grinder. Here is where we activate the map, similar to activating Anna and Molly in their maps. You will need to approach Nathan up the stairs to activate him. Don't worry, he can't get you at this stage. Nathan is now activated, and will be slowly walking around the map. This room here is the main ritual room. Keys will now have spawned around the map, and this is where the game has properly started. The main goal of this map is to sacrifice 10 pigs in this grinder, with this big hook controlled by this valve. There are 4 main items we need in this map. The first item is oil. These are randomly generated all over the map. I recommend picking these up and stockpiling them in front of the grinder, as this is the only place you'll ever need them. The second item is medkits, which will need to revive fallen players. Stockpile these in front of the grinder as well. The third item is bones. Bones are dropped by these half corpse crawling guys. You need to kill them with UV light, and they are quite fast, so you have to be quick about getting them. Once killed, these bones can be used to bait pigs, similar to hay for goats in the farmhouse, but for now, you can also stockpile them in front of the grinder. The last item is the pigs themselves, but they are all locked away in pens, and we need to release them. Keys will spawn around the map once Nathan is activated. There are five pen keys and one cage key. The cage holds five pigs and is the cage we saw at the beginning of the map. Each numbered pen holds one pig, having a total of 10 pigs. These pig pens are on opposite sides of the map, with the freezer in between them on the side. There is a link showing the map of the slaughterhouse in the description. I recommend finding all keys for the pens and release the pigs before sacrificing. I'll go over why we want to release all pigs and tips later in the video. Now that all pigs are released, we can begin baiting them. Start by dropping a bone and they begin to eat. You can then pick them up and take them to the ritual room. Once you have a pig, place the pig on the hook, put the oil on the grinder, and then turn the valve. This will sacrifice a pig. This is the main loop of the game, and you win when all 10 pigs are sacrificed. Now while you're doing this, there are three main enemies to look out for. Corpses, Balls, and Nathan. First are corpses. These look scary and make odd noises, but they are actively trying to get away from you. You need to kill these with UV light to get bones. Second are wild boars. They will begin to spawn and become more frequent as you sacrifice more pigs. These boars will charge you and can even make you drop the item you're holding. You can take these down with UV light. They are okay by themselves, but don't let them overwhelm you in later stages of the game. The main big guy is Nathan, who becomes more and more aggressive the more pigs are sacrificed. Similar to other maps, Nathan will have a passive mode where he is harmless and walks around the map, and a rage mode where he actively runs and hunts you down. Nathan will enter rage mode more frequently with the more pigs you sacrifice, and will also enter rage mode immediately whenever you sacrifice a pig. If he gets you, you will get a jump scare and effectively be killed. You can stun Nathan when he is running towards you by using the UV light on him. Once he is stunned, he will stagger and it is best to run away from him. In early stages, the stagger will calm him down and he may even begin walking again. In later stages, a stagger will only stop him for a short while before he begins running again. He may even have red eyes after being staggered. If he has red eyes, then just run, as he can't be staggered by UV when his eyes are red. Now if you die, the slaughterhouse map is a little different. You won't immediately be downed, and instead have to do a certain task before showing up as downed and need to be revived. You will be in a cage room, and there will be these corpse guys crawling around. However many pigs there have been sacrificed is the amount of corpses you will need to kill. The more pigs, the more traps there will be. Once you've killed the required amount, you will spawn again and able to be revived. Now that we have a general overview of the map, let's go over some tips and tricks to make your life easier in the slaughterhouse. Number 1. Stockpile In all Devour maps, there is a place you want to stockpile. Here is near the grinder, so stockpile all medkits, gas, and bones in here. Number 2. 
bone spawn limit. In previous maps, you could stockpile hay or food, that made it a bit harder to stockpile bones. The current spawn limit for bones appears to be 3. Once there are 3 bones lying around, no more corpse guys will spawn, and you'll have no choice but to sacrifice or use the bones as bait. This number may change as the map gets updated. Number 3. Don't forget where the bones are. Whenever you kill a corpse guy, make sure you pick that bone up and put it near the grinder, otherwise you may leave it lying about. Forget where it is, then the spawn rate of the bones has already been affected. Number 4. Gather all keys and open all pens before sacrificing. It would make sense to keep the separate pigs in their pens until you need them, but some pigs have piles in their pens. They can also be searched that may contain a key, but you can't access that until the cage is open. And sometimes these piles contain no keys, so instead of finding out too late that the key is hidden somewhere else, it's better to release the pig and be sure you have all the keys. Number 5. Ritual Room Hiding Spot Once you sacrifice a pig, Nathan will become enraged immediately. It is best to wait for him to come to you, so you can stun him and then have a chance to calm him down. There is a wee part here, near the hook, where you can stand and see from two different angles that he can approach from, giving you enough time to either stun and run. Number 6. The Freezer Room After you sacrifice a pig, you may hear an alarm noise. This is the freezer doors locking. You will know if they are locked when the light is red. You can use this in two different ways. You can hide in here when doors are locked, so Nathan is going aggro, he can't get to you, and he possibly calms down. You can also try and store pigs in here. This may be patched at some point, but appears pigs can't escape from the freezer. Just make sure you close doors when you leave the freezer. Another important thing is don't ever store items in here, because most likely the doors will lock when you need that item. Number 7. Sacrificing groups, especially in the later stages. From the 6th pig onwards is when Nathan becomes quite difficult. Here I recommend to always sacrifice pigs in groups, because when you are on that 9th pig, Nathan will practically be always mad and be hard to deal with so you want to deal with this as little as possible. Number 8. Blood pools are dangerous. When you die in Slaughterhouse, you're going to leave behind a pool of blood. Don't stand in this, as this will damage and end up killing you. Number 9. Don't be afraid to stun Nathan, especially in early game. Your first reaction is usually going to be running away when Nathan is approaching, but don't panic, especially in the early stages, and focus on stunning Nathan with your UV light. This will stagger Nathan and potentially calm him down. Once you stun, it's best not to wait around and see, because if he's still enraged, he'll most likely have glowing red eyes. If he does have red eyes, then he can't be stunned, and your best bet is to run away. Number 10. Don't take the balls for granted. These pigs may be annoyances, and you may just run past them, but if you have enough UV, you may as well kill them. This saves you getting overwhelmed by groups of them later on, or when you're already dealing with Nathan. Better take them out now, when you see them. Number 11. Take one for the team. If you only have one or two pigs to go, and you have enough people on your team, have someone sacrifice themselves by getting caught by Nathan. Whenever Nathan catches someone, there will be that cooldown period where Nathan is dealing with that person, and also may even calm down after capturing somebody. This will provide you with extra time needed to sacrifice and sometimes those extra seconds are all you need. With all these tips, this should give you what you need to beat Slaughterhouse. Is there any tips you'd like to add? Let me know in the comments below, and what you think of this new map. Leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you out, as this really helps out my channel. Thanks guys, and good luck in the slaughterhouse. You've been watching Jodic Supreme.